the first thing is, how did you feel about your skate today? Uh, we feel amazing um, to go out there. There's always pressure, you know, whether we put it on ourselves or if it's coming from another team or just the situation. And it's really satisfying and probably one of the best feelings when you go out and have a great performance with that pressure on us. And uh, But, you know, we do it every day and that's what we train for. So we're really, really happy that we could go out and do one like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely happy. Um, it, we've won four national titles now in a row and each one has its own special magical moment and magical feeling about it and uh, we're looking forward to more moments in the next few years. From the crowd, how have they reacted to you coming out? The support since I came out in the summer has been phenomenal and almost like 100% just positive. Um, I don't know if people noticed, but uh, during our free skate in Barcelona, there was some um, rainbow flags in the audience when we finished, and I was really, really touched by that. And I've had, uh, while we were there too, I had a lot of people coming up to me and just saying, thank you so much. Like, you, you've set such a great example, and we really look up to you. And uh, it, it just makes me smile. You know, I'm so happy that my story has actually uh, reach people and touch people and help people and I hope that I can continue my success in my skating career and let that grow even more. It's pretty shocking that you are the only person who has come out at the height of their career as a gay man in figure skating. Why is that? That's a very good question. <laughs> um, I think that uh, the, the biggest reason would just be fear of the unknown. I think for uh, any gay person, when they're about to come out to somebody, there's anxiety, there's fear, because you don't know how the person's going to react. And being in the public eye, that's just multiplied times like five. But uh, I'm just in a place in my life and in my career, and I'm surrounded by amazing people and friends and have so much support that I felt completely comfortable to do it. And my fear of coming out wasn't as strong as my want to just get my story out and help people. Your competitor, um, Eric, yeah. is also a friend of yours. Yeah. But first off, I want to uh, get a sense of somebody who's competing against him. How do you see him as a skater? Oh, he's amazing. Um, the duration of our friendship, we have been arch rivals on the ice. And uh, Eric used to live with my family, and um, we've been competing against each other since junior men in 2002, I think. And we've been back and forth our entire careers. And uh, he's really a big part of my success, and I feel like I'm a part of his because we pushed each other. And um, he's an incredible skater. Uh, he brings a lot to the table, and um, he's pushing the sport forwards. And you know, I have a lot of respect for him. Um, Megan, were you worried at all that this might affect scoring? Because a one or two point can actually separate you from a gold medal. Um, no, it doesn't really pass my mind that this would um, affect our skating or our scores at all. And if somebody is uh, shallow enough to allow, if a judge is shallow enough to put our scores lower because of this, then shame on them. Right. Mm -hmm. But there are like countries like Russia that are openly homophobic. How do you deal with that? Uh, Ironically enough, we, would, we don't even have to worry about the Russians. They're going to score as lower anyway. I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say that half jokingly. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, we can't control what the judges are going to do, whether or not they're going to take it into consideration. And we'll probably never find out if it actually does affect their scoring. If anything, we've been having our best se uh, season ever and getting our best scores ever since I have come out. So, uh, there hasn't really been any sign of that. And with the Canadian Olympic Committee, what kind of uh, support have they been giving you? Uh, the Canadian Olympic Committee has been completely supportive. Uh, I, one of the things that inspired me to come out in the first place was the Olympic Committee's One Team initiative. And uh, I think that they're doing a great uh, thing in um, being one of the first uh, committees to actually do something like that. And I think sort of set a standard for, the, for everybody else. And uh, yeah, again, amazing support all the way around. Okay. And from your partner as well, I'm assuming? Uh, <laughs> completely. <I love> <laughs> yeah, she's amazing, and I mean, of course, she's you know, no, she's knows everything. She knows everything about me and has known everything about me. We've known each other since we were like ten years old. So, uh, yeah, it's been amazing. And Sochi, do you have any regrets of maybe not coming out before Sochi? I actually have uh, no regrets about uh, not coming out in Sochi. Um, I was under enough pressure as it was uh, just to make it there. It was my life's dream since I was eight. I wasn't gonna let anything stand in my way and I am not gonna be forced or uh, railroaded into doing something that I wasn't comfortable doing. And I think that uh, coming out the way I did uh, at the timing of when I did was 
a thousand percent more effective than it would have been in Sochi, despite what people might think about the timing there. There's so many stories happening in Sochi, and, and it, the focus should be on the sports that I think I would have come out and would have been gone in the wind really, really quickly. And I think I'm making more of a lasting impact by doing it where I am in my career now. Okay. Great. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. Thank you.